In order to understand some of the more interesting types of weather, such as microbursts, Chinook winds, and hurricanes, you really need to understand how energy is involved as water changes from one phase to another. Here a little bit of snow is added to a container of supercooled water. The water freezes instantly, releasing latent heat. This released heat causes the temperature of the thermometer to rise as the water around it freezes. To do this demonstration, you need some really cold slush. We use snow, salt, and a little bit of water. Then you will need a tic-tac container, two-thirds filled with distilled water. Put it inside, insert a thermometer, and watch as the temperature drops. In fact, it gets so cold that the water inside is super cooled. At this point, the temperature inside the container is minus four degrees Celsius. In other words, the water is still liquid even though it's well below the normal freezing point. Next, we'll take a little bit of snow to trigger the freezing. As the snow is dropped in, the water suddenly freezes and the temperature rises. And again, this is caused by water molecules changing from liquid to solid. As, they change from, as a water molecule changes from liquid to solid, it releases heat. So even though the water inside froze, the heat that was released made the temperature of the thermometer rise. Here we have another point of view. You can see from this point of view the water inside freezing. And what you can't see so well is the uh, alcohol and the thermometer rising as well. For the next point of view, we will use a modified thermometer. What I did is I cut away the backing on one thermometer and set it up just as I did before. But now we got a point of view so that we can see both the freezing and the temperature rising from one point of view. There goes the temperature rising towards zero. And we'll look at that point of view again one more time. To print out a sheet with instructions and more information, go to montanascience.org and select Lesson Plans. To view other earth science related videos that I have produced, search for Rod Benson on teachertube.com. So this, this demonstration shows why Chinook winds are warm. As clouds form on the west slope of the Rocky Mountains, that is as water vapor changes to ice crystals, a tremendous amount of heat can be released. This released heat is what makes the Chinook winds that blow along the east slopes of the Rocky Mountains so warm. Latent heat is also involved in hurricanes and microbursts as well. As I mentioned before, for more information, go to montanascience.org and select Lesson Plans.